Hey there guys, it's Zach here from InBeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10061. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10049. Now this build is fairly similar to the leak which happened I think last week, build 10056. So the changes in this build I've, I've already gone over in that build so uh, if this video seems familiar to you that's probably why. So um, up first, the new mail and calendar apps. Uh, there are two new apps in this build, them being mail and calendar. They support a brand new user interface, which matches that of the universal office apps, which you can actually download from the store now. Uh, so if we log in here, you'll see this is what it looks like. It does adjust uh, to your window size, so the smaller it is, it will adjust like that, and the bigger it is, the UI will change. You can create new emails, much like you would expect, as you can see here got your formatting, insert, insert and review and in settings there are a bunch of different things you can change here. Uh, the toggles are now using the pill switches uh, which wasn't actually the case in build 10056 which is fairly nice. Same for the calendar app, the calendar app is new in this build as well and sports uh, those same pill switches but other than that the UI is pretty much the same as in build 10056. This is what it looks like for those who haven't seen it before. Uh, very nice, very reminiscent of the Universal Office apps like I said. Moving on to the next change, the entire UI, or I said the, the entire UI, the majority of the UI is now using the dark theme. Uh, it works on the start menu as seen here, the taskbar and the notification center. Uh, there's still work to be done to it rather obviously and there will eventually be a, a, an option to switch between the light and dark themes but that's not available in this build so um, this is what it looks like you are stuck with the dark theme and uh, it's not too bad it works pretty nicely I believe the apps are still white however so if we go into uh, where is it alarms and clock you'll see that this app is now is still white not using the black theme unlike in previous builds and there appears to be a new people app now this app is extremely buggy and I'm not even sure if it's actually going to open. Uh, it doesn't work, so don't be expecting to use this uh, as your actual people app because it simply just doesn't work. If you can get it to open, it's it, it, it's a terrible experience, but that's to be expected. No, it just crashed. That's to be expected with um, the, the early development of that app because it's not been in development for too long. Uh, con the continuum feature hasn't been improved slightly, uh, tablet mode works better now as you can see down here the, in tablet mode the buttons are now a bit wider and uh, programs no longer show up in the taskbar much like on Windows 8.1 uh, I don't actually have a touchscreen device so I can't, oh I can, so you can just drag down as normal or you can you know use Windows how you would expect to use it on a uh, on a tablet which is pretty great and uh, the start menu comes in and out obviously by default um, for for those using Windows 10, uh, the full version of Windows 10 on t tablets that are smaller than 10 inches, uh, you will boot to the start screen by default, which wasn't the, uh, the case in previous builds apparently, so it's good to see that feature back. Task view has been improved, apparently. Uh, task view, we've made several improvements, uh, visual updates to task view. Okay, so task view, the UI has been updated. Again, something we covered in build 10056. But for those who haven't seen it before, this is what it looks like. Fairly nice. And the behavior works differently as well. If we go into settings, I'll be able to show you that when we go into, where is it, system, uh, multitasking, you can change whether your apps show up in all the desktops or just the one, just the desktop that's being used. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for what's new. There's a bunch of fixes in this build. Uh, they fixed the issue where indexing of new email and outlook is not working. Fixed the issue of Hyper-V not preventing you from enabling it. Uh, Visual Studio will no longer crash when you're creating a new universal app. And uh, fixed a few issues in Project Spartan. Now there's a few known issues in this build as well, uh, a fair bit of known issues actually. Uh, let's see, Win32 desktop apps won't launch from the start menu. Interesting, let's see if that actually is the case. So if we launch, hmm, what, what apps do we have, that one? Oh yeah, no yeah, that bug is, oh I think the start menu crashed as well, great. So the start menu, oh that's back, but yeah no, Win32 apps do, do not launch from the uh, from the start menu which is a problem. A workaround for this is to pin said Win32 app to the taskbar apparently so uh, that's a workaround. Uh, 
Uh, the Winter Store Beta, Grey Tile and Project Spartan get unpinned after upgrading. As you can see down here, that is the case. They are no longer pinned. I upgraded from 10,049 and they are no longer pinned. Uh, the version of Mail and Calendar I've included in this build have a known issue that causes every typed letter to appear twice. Uh, we have fixed the issue in the updated versions of the app, uh, which is available in the Windows Speed to store now. So if you want to update the app, you can do so from this tile here. And uh, downloading music from... You can't download music uh, from the Xbox Music Preview app because it's currently broken. Uh, there, there's a fix coming later. And there's a couple other issues as well, which you can actually read on the Windows box. So they're the main issues, really. So if you upgrade into this build, keep that in mind. But apart from that, that's about it. Also, there's some nice... Uh, window animations when using the start menu and tablet or full screen mode which is pretty great but there you have it guys that's a quick look at build 10061 thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye bye